Hello, COSAs. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video um, to welcome you to the CoLab and to um, talk to you about a couple of concepts and ideas and things that you may or may not be aware of. So one of the things I wanted to talk about is um, this word that you'll hear us use a lot in the CoLab. And I know when I first encountered it, and actually in my very first job, I was sort of intrigued by it and wasn't exactly sure what it meant. And that word is pedagogy. And pedagogy is basically often used to stand in for teaching. So um, we'll talk about pedagogical approaches, and sometimes people will say, well, we're just talking about approaches to teaching. And in a way, that's, that's basically true. But I like us to push a little bit harder on it. Sometimes when we talk about teaching, um, we're just talking about like sort of the things you do when you teach, like you write a syllabus and you put together a class schedule and you um, give exams or assign papers and you grade, right? That's like the work of teaching. Pedagogy is a little bit different. Pedagogy is really infused in my mind with intention. So it's about not just doing the work of teaching, but thinking about why and how we teach. Um, and so when we talk about pedagogy in the CoLab, what we're really interested in is asking those important critical questions about why are we teaching the way we're doing this? Why are we assessing the way that we are? Um, what, do, what does this mean for our students? What does this mean within our particular fields or disciplines? What does this mean for the university, oops, the university at large? Um, so when you hear us talk about pedagogy, those are just some things to kind of keep in mind. The second thing I want to share with you is kind of this little known fact, which is that um, most college and university faculty get very little training in teaching or in pedagogy. Um, you know, they have advanced degrees, um, usually bat, uh, terminal degree, what we call a terminal degree, so that last the highest degree you can get, say a PhD. Um, but that doesn't mean, so they've learned a whole lot about their field and they've dived really deep probably into a specific area of their discipline or field to write their dissertation um, and to do their own individual research, lots of knowledge, lots of expertise. But that doesn't mean that anybody has ever really given them an opportunity to think about teaching and how they teach that discipline and how they teach that field. Um, sometimes you will have somebody who taught as like say a TA when they were in graduate school. So they've got a little bit more experience in teaching, but even that doesn't necessarily mean that they've been given the opportunity to learn about it or reflect upon it or think about what worked or what didn't work. And often what ends up happening then is people tend to teach the way they were taught. Um, sometimes that works, sometimes it's not so great. So a lot of what uh, teaching centers like ours, the, we call ourselves the CoLab, but essentially what we are is a, is a teaching center. What we're really interested in is giving our faculty the opportunity to have those important conversations and build communities um, here at PSU um, where we talk about our teaching. We talk about what it means to teach university level classes, what it means to teach in these different disciplines and fields, what it means to teach interdisciplinarily or um, as part of the cluster um, initiative that we have here at PSU. And you'll be learning more about that as you complete um, this entire program. But those are two things that I really wanted to share um, to just kind of put in your brains as you're getting started in the CoLab, things you may not know, may not be familiar with. Um, other than that, I'm so happy that you're a part of our team. Um, we absolutely love having students um, work with us um, as we work with faculty. And I do feel we are truly so lucky at PSU to not only have such outstanding students like you, um, but faculty who are truly committed to um, becoming the best teachers um, that they possibly can be. And it's a privilege to be able to do this work with them and with you. Thank you.